This oh is a controversial Ooh. one, but yeah. we have we just happen to have tons of sources reporting Precisely. that Muhammad used to dress up in his wife's clothes, that he used to at least put on their robes, yeah. their dresses. Their dresses exactly. um, now, what that means, if he's just laying there in bed or something like this and he wraps up in it or something like that, if you want to if you want to believe if yeah. you want to believe that, that's fine. I'm, but why doesn't he have I mean, when he's getting all this war booty, why doesn't he have his own Precisely. robes to wrap up in? To, yeah. um, but we have uh, Muhammad wearing the robes and dresses of his wives. Yeah, in fact, even the Arabic words that are used in the context make it clear. It's thob and mirt. And in the context, it's clear. It's women's dresses and clothing. That's what mirt so, means, right? Yeah, Green dress. Yeah, exactly. Now, they try to explain away, but the point is, even the context says that it's a woman's thob, a woman's mirt, meaning clothing and garment. Now, interestingly, in Deuteronomy 22.5, if you read the Arabic translation of Deuteronomy 22.5, you actually see the word thob used in reference to the prohibition of a man wearing a woman's thobe, clothing. Now let me read the English translation. Deuteronomy 22.5, from the New International Version. A woman must not wear men's clothing, nor a man wear woman's clothing. And the Arabic translation of this passage says, a woman's thobe, you'll see the relevance in a minute, for the Lord or Yahweh your God detests anyone who does this. Now, I'm going to read, for the sake of time, these two narrations real quickly. They are translations done by people in English, one by a Muslim and another by an Islamic scholar, both of whom realize that these terms in these contexts inarguably prove that Muhammad was wearing the garment, the clothing of a woman. Now let me read from <clears throat> Aisha Buley's translation of Sahih Bukhari, number 2442. And you can find Aisha Buley's English translation of the Quran, I'm sorry, of Bukhari online for free. Do Aisha Buley, Bukhari translation. This comes from her particular translation. Now I'm going to just read this. For the sake of time, I was going to read the other one, but our time is fleeting. Yeah. Let me just read this. It is re related from Aisha that the wives of the Messenger of Allah fell into two parties. One party contained Aisha, Hafsa, Safiya, and Sauda, and the other party contained Umm Salama and the rest of the wives of the Messenger of Allah. The Muslims knew of the love of the Messenger of Allah for Aisha. So when any of them had a gift which he wanted to give to the Messenger of Allah, he would delay it until the Messenger of Allah was in Aisha's house. Now the women got angry, they're upset that this was happening only in Aisha's house. So they actually asked Muhammad's daughter to go and complain. Now when she went and complained, notice Muhammad's justification. Now let me read it. I'm trying to skip through this for the mm -hmm. sake of time. <clears throat> notice what he says to the complaint. He said to her, do not injure me regarding Aisha. Don't bother me concerning Aisha and my preferential treatment of her. For the revelation does not come to me when I am in the garment of any woman except Aisha. You see the justification? Don't injure me, don't hurt me towards my preferential treatment of Aisha. Because let me tell you something. The only time I get inspired when I'm in women's garments is when I'm in the garment of Aisha. When I'm in the garment of any other woman, it doesn't happen. So Allah himself is showing me that I'm okay in preferring Aisha and wearing her garment because I only get inspired in her garment and no other woman's garment. So according... Now <laughs> There, there are multiple problems here, and we did, a, we did an entire program uh, going through the different problems here. But the Quran says don't have more than one wife unless you can treat them fairly, right? Yes. And Muhammad doesn't just get the four wives that the Quran allows. He gets at least nine or eleven at one time. And what's he do? He starts giving Aisha special treatment. And when he's called out on it, right? Muhammad, could you at least honor the Quran, O Prophet, and treat us fairly? His response is, hey, what are you telling me for? It's Allah who gives me revelations when I'm, in, uh, when I'm in Aisha's dress, but not wearing when I'm wearing the dresses of the rest of you. So it's not just that he's wearing women's clothes. It's that he's receiving revelations when he's dressed in Aisha's dress, and that he then uses this as justification to violate the commands of Allah because Allah gave him this revelation during, uh, dur during when the time when he's wearing <laughs> exactly. Aisha's garment. How many different ways is this just messed up, right? I mean, this is messed up, but this is, this is the perfect prophet, right, everyone?